Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a meat pie slash beef pasty. It is a short cross pastry filled with seasoned minced beef and vegetables. To support me, like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So let's get on with the video. For the dough, you'll need 500 grams of flour, 227 grams of butter, an egg, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. One cup of milk. First, you want to put all your dry items on a large plate or clean worktop, then mix all together briefly. Make a well, then add your butter and mix again thoroughly. You know when it's ready, if you can pick it up and create a ball, but when rubbed together, it crumbles in your hand. When mixed, start adding the milk bit by bit until combined. Lastly, drop and mix the egg. Wrap the dough in cling film and pop in the fridge until needed. Oh, you nasty! I'm gonna go wash my hands. For the mince, you'll need 500 grams of minced beef, handful of peas, one medium carrot chopped, half an onion chopped, one potato chopped, scotch bonnet pepper which is optional and some garlic paste, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of stock cube and one tablespoon of plain flour. In my pot I've got a little bit of oil and I'm going to saute my onions until caramelised. When done, put the minced beef in and leave to cook until almost brown. After it's cooked, you want to add your seasoning apart from your flour. This is the point where you can add your pepper and your paste, as well as your vegetables. If it's getting a bit dry, just add some water. Leave to simmer for 3 to 5 minutes. Once blended, finally add the flour. This helps the mince to bind together onto the pie. After cutting my dough into 4, I'm going to show you two ways you can create the pie. If you don't have a cutter, skip to 4 minutes 5 seconds. Roll the dough out a pound coin thick, transfer it to your cutter, place the mince inside, coat the edges with water, then flip. Remove the excess dough. And finally, secure the edges with a fork. Oh no no <laughs> If you don't have a cutter, use a small bowl and cut around it. Place your mints on one side, then coat the edges with water. Then flip. And lastly, secure the edges with a fork. Here I have some parchment paper and I'm placing my meat pies on them. This helps them not to stick. Poke holes in them to release air when baking. And cover in egg wash to give them a golden look. Put 
them in the oven at 160 degrees for 25 minutes. The tops are looking golden and flaky. They're unique in their shape and taste. When I open it, the mint is a nice brown and the vegetables are still vibrant in colour. The bottom is cooked and not soft. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned from this video. To support me, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye!